Scientists saying now that the Earth just got blasted with the highest energy photons that have ever been recorded, saying that these gamma rays, which clocked in at well over 100 tera electron volts, and that's 10 times of what the LHC can produce, they seem to originate from a pulsar lurking in the heart of the Crab Nebula. But scientists say they're not exactly sure what is generating them. Now, when it comes to energy or streams of energy that are coming in and blasting our planet, I think it's wise to pay attention because this energy is carrying a lot with it, including information, and a lot of the people here just are oblivious to all of this. Because information is carried on photons of light, angles of light. Astronomers using this Tibet AS gamma experiment have discovered the highest energy light ever measured from an astrophysical source. These photons streaming from the Crab Nebula were measured in, as I said, at 100 tera electron volts, and that is 10 times the maximum energy that the LHC or the Large Haldron Collider or CERN can produce. And that happens when it slams these particles together in a violent process of atom smashing to try to generate this stuff. What they go on to say here, though, is that this pulsar that is lurking deep inside the heart of the Crab Nebula is emitting this. Okay, they're saying that there's some kind of rapidly spinning core left with a star exploding uh, in a supernova that must have took, taken place over a thousand years ago. And since it is 6,500 light years away, they're saying that the explosion occurred roughly 7,500 years ago. And all that light is coming through right now. And it is breaking records. And it lays out all the different levels of energy that's coming through. But an interesting story I wanted to share with you guys here. If you're interested, I'll leave a link here below. And I'll update with more as I come across more. Eyes to the skies, y'all.